Well, right now we are heading down to southern Alberta, uh, specifically into the uh, Lethbridge area, and a real pleasure to welcome the president of the Lethbridge Fish and Game Club. He also happens to be the range operator uh, for the gun range in that area, uh, Rick Blakely. And uh, as a side note, I think we are correct in saying that the Lethbridge Fishing Game is celebrating its 100th anniversary next year. So an early congratulations uh, to that, Rick. Well, thank you very much, Michael. It's going to be a lot of fun next year. Or this year, it's 2000, coming up 2022. That's right. We don't we don't have to wait long for 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 the celebration to begin <coughs> as one of the oldest clubs. Uh, well, certainly in Lethbridge, but but more importantly, probably in Alberta. Um, talk a little bit about sort of the the core values that you guys uh, bring to the table and, and what what you care about in that region. Uh, we're a we're a, a community, a learning community of people who value tolerance, understanding, cooperation, and respect. And we encourage people to be in the outdoors and to enjoy the outdoors. And we're committed to improving the environment, habitat, and, uh, and the ability of people for generations to come to enjoy fishing, hunting, and other activities in the outdoors. Uh, we've been doing that for 100 years, and we'll hopefully do that for another two or 300. <laughs> That's, let's hope so. Let's hope so, Rick. Um, wh what is the size of, of the club in terms of membership? Well, last count was over 2,000 uh, and growing. Um, we've got a lot of interest in our membership. Again, this year with COVID, we've been able to maintain um, our, our, our shooting sports facility other than our indoor air gun range throughout COVID because we are an outdoor range and we have multiple facilities. There's lots of room. So we've been able to make, be, be open uh, other than when we did a major project uh, last winter um, that was supposed to take four, four months, took eight months, but we now have increased baffles, increased set safety, and all sorts of other things to, to make sure that uh, you may not know, but we are in the city limits, and that's rather odd for a range. And uh, we're at the bottom of a coulee, and uh, we're surrounded by uh, by houses on one side and acreages on the other. So uh, we maintain our range in that environment with about six levels of safety that we've uh, we've definitely emphasized at city council meetings and other meetings. We have cameras. We have all sorts of uh, fencing and and other pieces. We have a huge um, coulee wall behind us. So uh, we now have uh, concrete baffles to make sure that nothing at all will get out of our range, even if somebody does something really stupid. I, I got to imagine, Rick, that um that's probably pretty unique, not only in Alberta, but maybe in North America in terms of having a gun range in the middle of a city. Well, yeah, it's a full full force facility with archery, shotgun, rifle, um, action shooting. Uh, we, we provide range access for well, a lot of the police forces around here. Um, we're working with Canadian Border Services. They're going to be doing some Western Canadian training down here. We've got special agency ranges for them. They use our classroom, which is also our air gun range. So uh, we're connected with the community and, and we've made sure that we are an intrinsic part of our community. We are connected to our city council. We are politically active and we make no bones about it. Stepping away from the range for a moment and talking a, a bit more about the fish and game element of of your club, um, when you uh, you look at at sort of what's happening in and around your area, are there are there wildlife programs? Uh, are there specific uh, habitat programs that uh, you and your members uh, take a focus on? Well, recently, um, Heinz um, got an award. Uh, for his work throughout the pro, pro, 
um, throughout the province, from the province. And that's Heinz Pr Pronke, um, Brian Dingerville, and, uh, and uh, Wayne Lowry were both presidents. They're, they're involved heavily in Alberta fishing game. Um, we annually donate about $10,000 normally to the Wildlife Trust Fund because that's, an, that's a critical element in, in preserving spaces for our kids and the kids of the kids for the next centuries because we, Alberta Fish and Game, um, actually controls those lands and, uh, and makes it a viable, uh, sustainable future for, for outdoors people. And we encourage kids to get out of the basement in front of the TV screen playing violent uh, games to come to enjoy some safe sports, uh, some some wonderful outdoors uh, and things like that. We have a group of children, I should say, well, children and youth in our safe society. Uh, we work with them to provide IPSC action shooting and outdoor activities. Um, we uh, annually, uh, I, I guess for the last two years, we've provided, uh, because we haven't had conferences, we've been COVID bound to computers and Zoom for our conferences. We've provided the money that we would spend on, on, uh, on sending people to conferences to Alberta Fish and Game to help them offset their, their, their they were in a lot of trouble uh, financially. We, uh, we are committed to their survival. And uh, so we've, we've committed $8,000 to, to the, to the um, Alberta Fish and Game. With Alberta Conservation Association, we've, we've got grants from them uh, to support our youth shotgun programs, our, our pheasant, uh, mentored pheasant hunts, um, our pheasant release. We release pheasants. We pay for um, the hens and the hen release. In, in terms, Rick, of, of I guess, um, uh, moving, hunting, and you've already touched on many of them, the pheasants and, and that type of thing. Uh, do you work closely with, with landowners? I mean, you're in the middle of some of the, the, the great uh, coolies and, and grasslands in terms of pronghorn, mule deer, that type of thing. Um, is, is that a, a big part of sort of the mandate of uh, the Lethbridge fishing game? Actually, we work through Alberta Conservation Association. We provided them with uh, just about $25,000 over the last four years for projects uh, down Milk River Ridge, um, down the, the canal works to reclaim the habitat for, uh, for the future. Um, so between ACA, the county, some Ohaderite colonies, the farmers, um, Michael Uchikawa, who's our habitat um, chair and also um, a, a staff member of Alberta Conservation, has worked on all of that sort of stuff, moving the farms away from the uh, the waterways and uh, and controlling the cattle from, from being in the water. The uh, so those are the projects our members are actively involved. On. There's a Number of them that are actively involved in uh, in the uh, in the in the fencing program, the antelope fencing program. As a matter of fact, you talk about working with farmers. Uh, Derek Stimson Jr. A number of the farmers around here have lent us equipment to build the range. Um, Derek recently um, lent us uh, I don't know how many thousands of dollars this uh, track hoe is, but we have used a track hoe all all summer to build a new action shooting range. Um, and, and that's substantial. Uh, CCK snow removal has given us four, five front end loaders that we've used for the same stuff. We uh, ended up construction of our range two with, uh, with a big hole. Um, McNally construction brought us uh, around 10,000 cubic meters. And that's a huge, huge amount. It'll fill a lake. And uh, they brought it to us, CCK, and the Stimson hole filled that hole in and brought dirt around to build huge berms and stuff like that. So we're very connected to the community. And that's a real secret, Michael. Um, Absolutely. Our, 
Absolutely it is. And it sounds like you've got some amazing volunteers and folks that really believe in the projects that you're working on. And that really does show at the end of the day in terms of uh, the strength of your organization. And um, we wish you nothing but continued success with uh, everything you're doing down there, Rick. Thanks so much for for bringing us a, a little slice. I know there's a lot more going on down there, uh, but uh, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll reconnect and do another one. Uh, but thanks again and uh, continued success. Uh, and, and again, congratulations on 100 years. Thank you very much. It's not just me. I do very little. I just pull the strings. <laughs> you take care. Thank you very much. And thanks for uh, Alberta Fish and Game for, uh, for putting us together and making this video. I think our work is more important than any work you'll ever see by Greenpeace or any of those other people who really don't do much. We do.